Yeah, hello everybody. Uh, doing a quick uh, video update. Got my uh, Spark Maker yesterday. It's an SLA 3D printer. So I just basically turned it on and like checking some stuff out. Um, here's the printer in front of me. Okay, so a couple things that I've noticed. This is a slightly, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but this is a slightly uh, upgraded version. I tried to fix in some of the problems. One of them is uh, greasing the, uh, the linear rail screw right there. That's one of the uh, improvements people have been doing, upgrades. It's going to be hard to see this one, but underneath the vat, it's hard to see, but there is a protector for the LCD screen. It's kind of hard to see, but there actually is a protector for the LCD screen. So those are the two improvements out of the factory that people have been crying about or asking for I have two vats so the other thing is the, the the vats have been linking on people so let's see what happens this is my backup one I'm not uh, too sure I want to test out the one on the machine yet so you can see I added water to it it hasn't leaked so far so the other issue is these nuts aren't quite have been told I have been told they're not quite tight or too tight or too loose so I'll have to just test that out greasing the linear rod so you can see goes up and down I've, I've been told the rod can wobble a little bit when being used so it's gonna have to try that out so I mean I've heard all kinds of problems, but I really don't see a lot of them. Like it doesn't turn on, doesn't work. I need to get an SD card. So far, my VAT hasn't leaked, which is a really good sign because that's one of the major problems people are having. The VAT leaks and then gets plastic all over the LCD. Like I said, it's kind of hard to see it, but there's an LCD down in there and uh, uh, basically a screen protector on top, which is a mod. SD card will go there, so I need to get an SD card, download the file, try to print something out. So here's the different uh, types of liquid liquid resin that I got with the printer. None of them leaked. People complained about the resin leaking everywhere and not having any left. But to me, it looks like the resin got here without leaking. So this is this is an SLA printer. I don't know how many people know the difference or people watching know the difference, but basically what happens is is that this one has a little LCD in here instead of a laser and a DL, DLP projector. This has an LCD screen. So you pour the resin plastic resin, liquid resin, into the vat, like I did here. 
Then this is the bill plate right here. So the uh, object will adhere to the bottom of the bill plate. So the uh, LCD will flash and bond the layers. Because the bill plate will drop into the resin. And then the LCD will uh, slowly build layer upon layer. Very cool. This is actually an under $300 uh, SLA printer, which is really low for the, uh, I mean, I don't know if there's many SLA printers you can buy for less than seven, $800. It's about $300 SLA printer. So, a couple things I need to do is I need to get uh, some protective gloves. Because you don't want to uh, get the plastic on your skin. Maybe get uh, some eye protection and some an apron too. Because I don't want to pour the stuff on myself. post some more updates here. Pro I probably won't post another update about the printer until I get back from Rebel Games. I'm going to read the, uh, there's a uh, Thingiverse forum uh, about how to improve and upgrade and make your spark maker work. But like I said, the, the two main uh, Upgrades or improvements that people have made is to grease the, the linear rod, which they've already done. I don't have to do that. And to put the screen protector on the LCD. I know it's hard to see, but it is there. So those are the two main improvements. There has been issues with uh, the nuts not being wobbling a little bit. We'll see about that. And the other one is the uh, your vats will leak. They'll leak plastic everywhere. And damage the LCD or damage the machine but right now I don't have a leak on my backup one so that leads me to believe I have a decent chance of it not leaking on the main one on the machine so no no it's not bad I know there's some issues with it like I keep saying um, but this is a beta product this is right off of Kickstarter it's like uh, I kind of so, uh, equated to uh, the cupcake th uh, thingamatic forgetting the second uh, evolution of the MakerBot uh, 3D printers uh, cupcake just flat out didn't work without uh, lots of uh, mods and hacks to it this seems to sort of work out of the box but like I said uh, to get back from Royal Games which is this weekend uh, I'll do some 3D printing and checking out of the uh, of the Spark Maker. <coughs> I've downloaded uh, software. I'm looking through some of the guides. This is Spark Studio version 2.0. There's like a firmware update I need to make and so on. So, for Kickstarter, hey, first time Kickstarter printer, cheap printer. At least looks like it's got some possibilities. I can make some small parts with it. You can see that's the build platform. I think I can make brackets for the Darwin Mini and some of my other robots. Um, but this is a quick uh, unboxing showing off of the printer. Of course, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to put a comments or send me an email or a direct message or whatever. And. Uh, about a week or two from now, let's say two weeks from now, uh, I'll start playing around with it, do some test prints on it. I said I won't be able to do it because I'm at Robo Games, but uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching this a quick uh, breakdown, first look at my first SLA printer, and see you guys later.